Hey guys, so this video, I wanted to come on here and have a quick little sit down with you and talk to you about my latest marketing strategy for my OnlyFans and what it's been doing for me. So I just wanted to give you a brief introduction. I am Ember Velvet. I am a 26 year old mom and wife and content creator, if you get my drift. And I have been trying a new strategy for promoting. I was really, really big on using Reddit. I still love Reddit, but there's a certain amount of work required and the amount of posts that you have to do to really get your account seen and get the karma and everything going. It's hard for me to balance that with my day-to-day -day life, um, especially where I was, you know, doing 30 posts a day um, or trying to, that was really hard for me to manage. Now I have a much different strategy and I am officially making more than I ever did promoting on Reddit. So I want to talk about it. I want to just very, very quickly tell you some numbers and I will be back with a full length series kind of going over all of the different things that I've been doing to actually achieve this. But I did just want to let you know because you can do the research yourself. It's not very hard uh, that this is one of the best ways to promote. So without further ado, here's what I'm doing. I started my own YouTube try on channel. So I started with just my regular clothes, the things that I have in my wardrobe, the things that I've picked up. Um, over the past year of doing content creation. So I do have a decent amount of lingerie, although I haven't even recorded videos and all of it yet. I did make one order of stuff that specifically was very trendy so that I could try and hop onto some different trends that I see coming and different trends people are already doing. And those are working really well for me, but I still haven't even worn through all of them yet in the way that I'm doing like the actual pairing of things for my hauls. So on my channel, I went through... <laughs> A couple different structures of posting. I think where I'm going to land is probably three videos per week at varying lengths, but I did just do a period of posting every single day um, and that was crazy and a lot more work than I expected, but I really like that with YouTube. I can post one time in a day, set it and forget it. I can upload it in advance. I can schedule it to post. I can just edit it and post it whenever I'm done with it. Whatever I want to do, it's very flexible with my life. I just have to make sure I get the one video up whenever I decide that I'm going to post. And then from there, I respond to comments when I feel like it. Yeah, it's pretty simple. So for the hauls, I really, I have a couple that are like five items, but for the most part, it's two or three items that I'm just making a little set or a collection of and then I title it something that I think is applicable to all of it. So I've done it based on the color of the garment. I've done it based on the style of the garment. I've done it based on, you know, what it actually is. Like I've done a micro bikini haul, different things like that. And those have been working really, really well for me. I also kind of tried my own fun thing where I just took regular clothes from my closet. Like I made a video with my cardigans. And that is my best performing video so far. My cardigan video has over 400,000 views on it already, which is amazing. I posted it last month. I started this channel on February 11th. And at this point I have more than 8,300 subscribers. I have cumulatively over 875,000 views. Um, and it has brought my OnlyFans page basically back to life from the dead. Um, you know, I, I took a little break for personal reasons. If you want to know what those are, you can watch my last video. I tell you all about them. Um, but otherwise, I, I took a break. I wasn't really doing anything. I came back and started on Instagram because I thought that there might be a little bit more balance. And I just, I don't get the same kind of views on Instagram or even Reddit that I'm getting on YouTube. And so I think that knowing that YouTube is primarily evergreen content that's only going to continue to grow in views as time goes on, I can only imagine that things go up from here so long as I maintain my account status and don't lose that account. So, you know, I am beyond proud. I am very close to surpassing my next largest audience, which is on my Reddit. It has also subsequently grown. My Twitter account is now over 2,000 followers, um, and I was stuck at like 1,300 forever, which was so frustrating. Um, but that's been growing. My Instagram has actually grown a little bit from it too. I'm pretty close to 3,000 followers, but I did put some legwork into Instagram. I haven't really touched Reddit or anything else like Twitter. All that to say, if you're a new creator, you're looking for a way to promote your OnlyFans, you're just breaking into the industry, YouTube. Go on YouTube, start a try on channel. It's all the rage right now. It might not last forever, but today it's the way. For a brand new creator, it is the way. You will get in front of people, you will reach them, just put some effort into it, make some cute videos, model your clothes, and be fun. 
It doesn't even have to be really sexual in nature. It can be pretty softcore. Um, there are some girls who are showing a lot of things and they might get their accounts taken away. I personally am doing a bit of a balance. I have some riskier videos and I have some much cleaner videos. I try to always slip in a scene or something that I'm talking about that's a little risky, a little bit fun, uh, get some thinking, but overall you can be very safe for work on this or talk in a safe for work way. You don't have to do anything you're not comfortable with. You can just post these and this is the huge trend right now. So if you don't have one already, start a try on channel, post on it regularly for a little bit, try it out and see what you do. Because I swear this is like the best place for a brand new channel to promote. I honestly, I went from I think I was in the top 60%. Um, I fell pretty far and now I'm top 8.9%, which is the highest I've ever been. And I am almost exclusively on YouTube right now. So that is entirely from me doing the work really on there and pushing and pushing and pushing for this last month and a week or so. I have over 110 paying fans. I think I had 17 when I started back up in February. So I couldn't be more excited or proud of the work that I've actually done and the fans that I've grown in this time. It's just it's so exciting and I'm so happy to be back to where I was and even better in such a short span of time. So fingers crossed, the momentum keeps going. Another benefit is that my content has dramatically improved in the time that I've been doing my YouTube try on channel. I'll include a clip of one of my first videos and one of my more recent ones so that you can compare the quality of video because I have learned so much trying to improve my quality for my YouTube try on channel. And I think while I had like vertical content figured out and I was trying pretty hard on my explicit stuff before, there's no match. The quality of my explicit stuff is even like remarkably better. So it's worth the practice and it's honestly such a good excuse to practice like editing these videos together and just practicing your skills is the best way to learn. So I think it's really worthwhile for just that too. Anyway, give it a shot. I will be back with more videos giving you all the details about how I specifically record, how I edit, and the SEO that I use for my videos to help me get the views. So I love you so much. I will see you in the next one. Get that bread. Bye.